for you. I'm Alessandra and today what I want to do is a soft, a little glam, just a tiny bit and by glam I mean I'll do some eyeliner because <laughs> I don't usually do eyeliner. Um, a dark and light academia, it really depends on like if you add lipstick. Um, it's very lightweight so we won't have a lot of things on the skin. So I'm going to first of all take off my First of all, I'm going to start by taking off my cardigan because I'm sitting on the sun, in the sun, on the sun. No, I'm not sitting on the sun. Okay, and I'm super hot. I mean, of course. Let, that was so cringy. Let's not talk about that. I'm going to pin away my hair so it doesn't go in my face, and I'm going to jump right into it. And I won't spend any more time talking. So I'm going to start off by applying concealer on some areas like my under eyes and a little bit on top of my lid just so it can work more like a primer. My concealer is almost over as well. Everything's going great as you can tell. Let me come a bit closer so you can see. So step number one is to actually wash your hands. Step number two because we're in the midst of a pandemic and we need to make sure that we're protected. <laughs> Step number two is to apply concealer. So, I like to apply concealer only around my mouth area. Um, and I'm going to leave every blemish or every spot I may have uncovered. So we're going for a very natural skin look. With everything that is left on my beauty blender, I'm going to go right here on my forehead. And that's it, basically I'm done. This is everything for concealer, nothing else. That's it, so simple. I'm going to do my brows now. So what I do for my brows is only brush them up and outwards. I don't like the high, the completely brushed up look. And I'm going to take my brow pencil and fill them in. This is the Essence Long Plastic Eye Pencil in the shade Lucky Lee. This is an eye pencil, not a brow pencil, but I use it as a brow pencil because it's very nice and soft. Um, I don't fill them in too much, I'm going for a more natural look. And once I'm done with filling them in, I'm only going to brush them. And that's it. I'm done with brows. Brows are like the fastest thing in my everyday routine. Also, I forgot to mention that I've already moisturized my skin and put on sunscreen. So we're going to move on to the fun part, which is the eyes. I'm taking a very fluffy blending brush. I'm not going to use a fucking brush, nothing like that. This is a one brush look. I'm going to take a very light brown color and go on my crease very lightly. The palette that I'm holding is the, yeah, the Makeup Revolution Flawless Palette and the numbers I'm using are the 9 and 17. Now I'm going to take a bit of a darker shade and go more into my crease and have it more concentrated on my crease. And I'm going to blend it with the other color. And finally, I'm going to take a light shade from another palette. I'm going to be using the NYX Perfect Filter palette. And I'm going to be taking the very first color. And I'm going to be using that to blend the corners of the eyeshadows to my natural skin. And that's it. That was it. That's everything I'm going to be doing for the shadow. Now I'm going to go on my lower lash line with the very first color that I used, which was nine, to give you a very sleepless look, like you haven't slept in like some days because you've been reading and studying. That's why, because we're light and dark academia here. 
Also, all the makeup I'm using is vegan and cruelty free for anyone who is interested in that. Now that that's done, I'm going to go... I'm going to do my liner. So I'm going to follow up my natural line from my lower lid and I'm going to take it, make it more straight, a bit dragged out. So where I start my eyeliner is where my iris starts. Now I'm going to add a bit of mascara. I've used this mascara so much that it has rubbed off. This is a NYX mascara. All NYX products are vegan and cruelty free. So I'm going to do a tiny bit of mascara on my lower lashes as well. And I'm going to do the other eye now. So we have a problem, they're not the same. And that's the final shadow look. <laughs> so now I'm going to do a tiny bit of contouring and blush. So I'm going to start by contouring. To con I contour with eyeshadow. I don't know if that's wrong or right, but it's a powder product. I'm going to be using the number 25 by the Flawless Palette that I have been using for so long. And I'm going to go on my natural shadows. So right here, right here, and a little bit under my chin as well. So next I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, blush to bring some life to my face. So I'm going to be using the second eyeshadow, this one, from the NYX Perfect Filter Palette. Go a bit on my chin, a bit on my nose as well. I like it. I'm going to highlight. You can go on top of your brows as well if you like that, or in your brow bone. I usually don't, I don't like that, but do whatever works for you and your face. So for the lips, I'm going to be using a lip liner, which is very close to my natural lip shade. Before I do that, I'm going to be wiping any makeup off of my lips. And that's it. I don't usually overline my lips and also, if you wanted to turn this into a night look, you can just apply a darker lip shade um, or even a brown. A brown would look so bomb if this, with this makeup or a dark um, mauve. Yeah. And finally, I'm going to be doing a tiny bit of lip gloss. I don't fill my lips in. Just a little bit of lip gloss that has a slight tint to it. And that's the finished look. <laughs> so now I'm going to be taking my hair out of this, of the clips, and let it get free. We're breaking free! Okay. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching. This was very easy and very fast to do. It really depends on how long it takes you to do your eyeliner because everything else is like a five minute look. <laughs> and this is the whole look done. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you on my next video. Have a great rest of your day and bye.